Hello everybody, it's Bacon Donut here, back with another Sky Factory tutorial. Yes! Sky Factory is a mod pack that I created, and if you want to know more about it and how to get it, go back to episode one of this tutorial series and you'll be able to do that. Now today, normally we go through um, a challenge in each of these tutorials. Today we're not going to complete a challenge. We're going to take uh, care of some other things that are useful for your world that you should be doing by now uh, if you've been following along since the beginning. And specifically today, I wanna talk about your mob farm. We're gonna automate it so it's killing monsters when you're not even there. It's not very hard to do, and you'll be rich in no time with all of the mob drops if you do it. So I'm in creative mode uh, just because it's easier to show you this. This is absolutely a survival thing though, very easy to, to accomplish. Um, and let me uh, pop into survival just to show you the recipes here. So here's the items you're gonna want. You're gonna want uh, iron spike, and you know, there's more than one way to do this, but this is how I like to do it. Iron spikes, simple recipe, Just um, you just need a lot of iron, right? So we showed you how to automate the, the sifting and all of that, that should be getting you iron. And after a while, you'll save up enough to make these. So one craft gets you four, that's, that's enough for a simple uh, trap here. It's basically monsters fall on this, they take damage and it's like a player killed them. Uh, so it's pretty darn useful. And so you're gonna need some iron spikes and also a fan or four uh, right here, this one, the fan from open blocks. Uh, it's cheaper, it's just a half slab of some sort uh, an iron ingot and an iron bar, and you get a fan. You're also gonna need some levers and uh, some building materials. And uh, also chests to store the drops in and some uh, vacuum hoppers to collect the, the drops that the monsters drop and put them in the chest. Uh, so back in the creative here, I'll show you what I've done. The fan, you can see them in action right here. The fan actually pushes monsters. So they spawn in here like normal, right? But the fan, you can see it spinning right there. It actually pushes them after they spawn over to the spikes. The spikes kill them. The vacuum hopper pick up, picks up the drops. And I see now that I forgot to uh, uh, set the output. Boom. There we go. So you can see that's pointing down into the chest now. So let's do that. Oop. It already, it already killed something in the short time I've had this up. Uh, oh, wrong side. Wait, wait. There we go. That one. Okay, and the last one. Boom. Okay, cool. So all of those are ready to collect the drops and put them into the chest. And you can see these two fans are spinning. Now you want it when you make this. You want to make sure you're using F7 because you need the uh the X's to still be red, right? Because you want monsters to spawn in the daytime. So what I've done to make sure that that happens is enclose, like I put the fan in, but then I enclose around it uh, with with wood so that it still stays dark. And uh, it needs a redstone signal to be on, so that's what the lever is for. And uh, if I grab another lever, put it there, boom. Now we see that both of these fans are spinning. So that's 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 how you know that they're pushing stuff. Uh, but it also pushes you, the player, so you'll be able to tell that it's on. All right, so if I put this wood back, you can see that that, that turns red again. Now, you also have to do the same thing around these chests, right? Uh, I put the iron spikes down, and I had to put extra wood right here to encase around it so that it, the light stayed out. Uh, so... I built this so that it matched my walkway, so I put uh, three rows of spikes here, so there's a total of six. You don't have to use that many. One spike might do the job, um, but you know, symmetricality and all that. So there we go. Um, and up here, I encased, the, both the chest and the vacuum hoppers will let light in, so I put wood around all that. And that's really all there is to it, and if we back up here, wait, am I in? I am peaceful. No, I'm in. I'm in hard. So, uh, if you fly back over here, monsters will start spawning up. Oh, there is one already. Uh, let's wait till we see one more. Oh, I don't know if you can see, but I just saw the skeleton die. It spawned and then died. Um. Yeah. Well, no, that's that's good enough. 
confirmed working and you just go find this one it dropped two bones put it in that chest these are diamond chests uh so that they hold a lot but you're gonna need to to come and check on these fairly often because you're gonna get a lot of drops and a lot of crap you don't need like uh broken bows and all that sort of stuff right uh so yeah and that's pretty much it that's an automated mob farm there's other ways to automate it. Um, one of the challenges is automating something with a turtle. This is one place where you can do that. You could make a combat turtle and have it kill the monsters for you automatically. Uh, and there's other items in the pack that do damage to mobs as well. That's that's just one example. Uh, I, ma I made this thing in a previous video. Let's check on the drops. There we go, lots of ink sacks. And I think Choo Choo's must be getting in here unless the squids themselves drop spoils bags. I don't think they do. I think I must be getting Choo Choo's in there. Anyway, uh, and you can see I've built a couple new platforms here. This one uh, right next to the mob farm is just dirt and thanks to F7 we see that it's not lit up. And here's another one with some ice in the middle uh closer over to home base so first let's talk about this one there is oh there's more mobs yes get wrecked skeleton nice um okay so there are a number of challenges that are related to animal stuff so trophies and wool colors and things like that where you're going to need uh animals but where to avoid? How do you get animals, right? So I'm gonna teach you now how to do that. That's what this platform is for. Basically, in the same way that when you're, you know, 20, 30 blocks away from a dark spot, monsters are gonna spawn, the game also wants to spawn animals and they spawn on grass. So if you give it a, a grass spot, then monsters are gonna start spawning there or animals are gonna start spawning there. And so that's what I've built this for. Uh, let's go ahead and get grass seed again. You will sift dirt and you'll get grass seeds It's that simple just sift dirt and you'll get these so you want to build this a, a Spot like this that is about as same you've noticed see now We've got the ink farm the monster farm and now the animal farm all about the same distance away from our work area And that's intentional. That's where the game wants to spawn them uh, pay attention to your biome currently uh, as you can see up above me I'm in a taiga taiga is fine what you don't want is ocean if you're in an ocean biome monster uh, animals are not going to spawn monsters will animals won't um, so all you got to do is right click with the grass seeds boom you get grass and uh, you know either spread either get enough seeds to, to spread the grass yourself or just wait for it to spread you can also use a uh you can also use a watering can to speed that up uh let's put some torches down we don't want monsters in our animal farm so i'll put some torches on the corners here and again it, it's easier for me to do a tutorial in in creative like this but th this is absolutely all survival activities you don't need creative mode um so here's the watering can very important thing for when when you get into farming the watering can uh the crafting recipe is simple watering uh right there uh this one is a peaceful only recipe so this is the one you want four pieces of smooth stone a wooden bowl and a bone meal all easy to get once you have a mob farm um and so all you do is craft it and then go over to a water source and um like we have back here this is this is where we put our water all you have to do is right click the watering can onto water and that kind of fills up the watering can and after that when you right click with the can you can see those water particles like that the watering can has an effect of basically speeding up the the tick rate of certain things in the game so you see if i'm watering the grass how it's spreading like that the the game has a mechanic where it's it's counting down the ticks and every tick there's a chance that the water will spread the watering can speeds that up and so this also works on crops to to make plants grow faster it even works on players if you're on fire you can there's every tick there's a chance that the fire will go out so you can put yourself out faster 
if you're burning up <laughs> by using the watering can. So there we go. Now we've got nothing but grass. It's a completely random. Ah, oh, it's too dark over there. Crap. Monsters everywhere. Um, it's a completely random chance, and sometimes it takes a while. But now that we have grass down there and it's lit up, if we spend our time over here messing around with our automation, whatever, eventually we're going to get animals spawning in that pen. And that's all types of animals, sheep, pigs, cows, chickens. If you want to make it go faster, make more of them. Make more, make the, the spot bigger and, and make more locations and you'll get more animals faster. And after that, you can start breeding them together and everything will go better. Uh, let me hop into peaceful here to get rid of these monsters that spawn and the last thing that I want to cover in this video is beginning farming so um, There's wait wait here. Let's uh, time set day uh, Okay, so this is absolutely something that you could have started Earlier in a normal situation. I think you would start into farming earlier than what you know, in terms of progression, you can start a farm pretty darn early in the game. So I've just made a spot here. There's nothing special about the location. It doesn't have to be far away like like that stuff does or anything. Just just get some dirt and and some water. Uh, that and I'm in a taiga, right? So again, you have to be careful about your water uh, freezing over. And all you have to do to keep that from happening if you're in a taiga is just cover it up with a block. With the block covered like that, that water underneath it will not freeze. And it doesn't have to be covered right there. It could be one block higher if you wanna if you wanna be able to get fancy with it and do it like that. So that, that water will not freeze thanks to the cover. And um, so here's how you get started with farming. Uh, back to the the grass seeds again grass Seeds so you'll get some um, Seeds for various things by sifting dirt right uh, and you can start crops that way and of course with the hoe I've made this so from the water block There's one two three four squares of dirt on each side and that's just because you know in vanilla Minecraft that's the effective range of the uh, the water there. So this is a maximum size farm that you can have using uh, a single water uh, to to get your farm going and hydrated, right? And uh, so you can uh, you'll get various seeds from various plants that you can use uh, from sifting dirt. But what you can also do is plant some grass. And come in here with bone meal or the watering can. If you just hold the watering can, it's going to act like bone meal over time. And um, gra taller grass is going to grow. Um, so that's one option. But bone meal, of course, is faster. So if we grab bone meal and just boom, look at that, you get tall grass. So you start breaking the grass. I better do this in survival because I don't know if it acts different in creative or not. Um, so if we break the tall grass, look, we just got a seed. That was a barley seed. So there's, so there's one uh, crop we can plant. Boom, and uh, do this repeatedly, and you're going to get a bunch of different kinds of seeds. And one seed in particular that you're after is the essence seed, and it's a rare drop. So you know sometimes you can go through a lot of bone meal before you actually get one. Um, seed. This one right here. Uh, that's the one of the ones that you really want to get and it might it might take a few tries Some people have told me that it took them three stacks of bone meal to actually get one But you want to you want to sift like that until you get uh, or you want to bone meal and break the grass until you get an essence seed essence seed boom and This seed is required for a mod called magical crops Magical crops has some amazing things in it and there are challenges specifically requiring magical crops And so we'll get into all that later, but 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 for now get your farm going start growing these plants I'll show you what they look like when they're when they're fully grown here because the watering can absolutely does work on them and uh, You can tell they're fully grown because they'll have this little I don't know flower thing 
on the top of them, but also, you know, the Wayla thing says 57% grown or whatever. And uh, let me pop into survival again so that I can just make sure there isn't any issues related to this. All right. Uh, wait. Water and cam, please. Come here. Boom. All right. Water. There we go. There's one. That that little green nub on the top that tells you that it's done and if you break it i got two drops out of that one was uh you know another essence seed so i can replant it and the other drop was this thing essence dust that's important the essence dust you want to collect a lot of that and it's going to be used to get higher up and with magical crops you can grow all the ores you can grow ores you can grow like and you can craft special armor even armor that can let you fly with magical crops it has its own tools that are unbreakable there's amazing stuff in magical crops so for now just start collecting that essence dust and uh, i'll i'll show you more about magical crops later but that's how you get started uh using everything i just showed you you'll be able to get all the major plants and uh foods and all that sort of stuff so you don't have to just eat apples and starve to death all the time um, yeah, so there you go. So that's how you start into a farm. We also covered uh, how to start getting your first animals. Nothing spawned yet, but I promise you it will. And of course, how to automate your monster farm. Thank you for watching. I hope this was a useful video. Subscribe to the channel to get more of these and hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter and check me out on Twitch, broadcasting Minecraft live almost daily. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.